Hello, Mr. Ropes here from Ropes and Wings Ranch. I'm going to show you part two of our uh, spring enhancement that we're doing. Did some changes, but uh, hopefully uh, you can get some ideas so you can do a project like this yourself. All right, now we have our spring back filled with uh, dirt uh, on top of the six mil plastic on top of our two, three wash gravel. Um, you can see that little pipe sticking there out of the ground right there that uh, has a red cap on it to uh, if we need to put any kind of uh, cleaner to clean out our spring head this small pipe right here coming out of the ground is uh, our overflow out of the spring collection system and we get that spring collection system from Carolina water tanks and then here is our Two inch output coming out of the ground going down here to the sediment trap that we built. I painted it with uh, painted a PVC pipe with some UV uh, paint uh, to keep it from degrading in the sunlight. You can hear that ram pump hammering in the background. And I'll show you that. There's our pipe coming out of the sediment trap and going down the hill to the rampart. Now here's our ram pump, just a hammering away. Got a little bit of waste from that check valve opening and closing. Pumping with no electricity, no gas, just 24-7. This pipe is the pipe that comes from our sediment trap down to our ram pump and then you have this inch pipe goes in the ground here and that is what's going up the hill to our pump tank and then our supply tank the uh, pump tank is uh, sitting there at uh, I believe about 1500 foot of elevation right now we sit at about 1300 foot of elevation just amazing to me they still have to get my area protection around the ram pump because of that wastewater I got to fill in with some stones around there all right here's our first tank it's a 1400 gallon tank it's our pump tank as we call it and that's sitting here at about uh, well, I believe it's about 1500 feet in elevation now it gets pumped out of this tank with a solar pump and gets pumped up to a holding tank 1400 gallon holding tank at about 1700 foot of elevation All right, here's our solar panels, and uh, probably going to have to move them up the hill further to take advantage of the sun. When we installed these, it was springtime. They were getting full sun all pretty much all day long now. We're getting in the fall here, and uh, we've got a lot of sun on our panels. So four panels. got a control box right there goes the solar panels and you can see it's uh, not pumping right now we don't have any juice going to it at all so it just pumps when the sun's on it to uh, fill the supply tank from the uh, I don't know if you can see it there off in the distance there that's where the uh, pump tank is so like I said, we're going to have to move these panels up the hill further. They're not in the sun anymore. Let me go show you the uh, other tank. It's a beautiful day up here.
Okay, here we are, top of my world, 17, 1700 foot in elevation. You can see it's way out through there. It's a beautiful view. So right here is the supply tank or the holding tank, 1400 gallons. It's pumped up from the pump tank via solar pump. And then it runs down through there to the pastures to fill up the troughs, the Marifont troughs. Never get over this view. All right, here's one of the troughs that uh, Mara found. Gets fed, let me get out of the shot here. One of the troughs. I like this system because the blue balls are up and if you got blue balls, well you got water by Mara found. Longhorn, they're over there lazing off in the corner. The rest of them are down over the hill. Right there, that's uh, that's Miracle laying there. If you can see her, that's a really good system. So it flows from that supply tank, or if the solar pump is running, that fills the troughs first, and then gravity feeds then the rest of the night from the uh, tank at the top of the hill. Check out that view. All right, that's all for now. We'll talk to you sometime later.